Hey everyone, it's Fofo Sukiyomi today with another collab and like we're gonna be doing Nagi vs. Bachua. Say hello, Lil King. Hello, what's good? Everyone. Hello, video. 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 His weapon is his, is his, um, is his extreme ball control. Wait, hold up. You said weapon? Yeah, weapons. Like, his abilities, basically. What he can do. Okay, so Nagi's weapon is his, is his exceptional, is that even a word for his crazy ball control. Whatever, whatever position he's in, he is able to control the ball, kill the ball's momentum, and do whatever he needs in that situation. Such as when in the Nagi spin-off, when he got the ball, when he went up against Baro, he was able to trap the ball when he was behind him, even though he couldn't see it, and with a back heel trap. And when he like created a new Trapping technique against Bar in the second selection. I was able to dethrone him and defeat him. Which, or he could bring life into the ball. And his most crazy feats, wait, hold up. And his, and his U20 ball, where he just he controls the ball, taps it on the floor, and then does a roundabout kick, and then scores, yeah. And his most crazy feats so far in the, in the, anime, in the manga. Is his five shot fake revolver volley where Nagi will fake, well, will fake shoot about five times, then the fifth he will shoot. So that's about everything for Nagi. Now to Bachua. For Bachua, he is similar to Nagi as he has a weapon that he just evolves. Nagi is trapping, Bachua is dribbling. From the get go, he has always been dribbling in the search of trying to find a monster who can score goals that he would pass to. So in search of hoping for an actual person who can handle that monster, he found Blue Lock and Blue Lock introduced him to Isagi Yorichi. So from the first game, Bachua and Isagi were the duo combo that was carrying Team Z. Bachua's dribbling style always was creative. He was always going as creative as he could, doing whatever the monster told him, doing rainbows, rabonas, elasticals, and like he even did this one move where it was like he was trying to go to the left but he went to the right when faking out Zantetsu. He really went all out against Team I think their Team V with the not their Team V am I correct? Yeah. And it involves in the second selection as he forms a chemical reaction with Nagi. So it's not just Isagi he can get off of with his monster. Anyone who is insanely good like that. And he basically evolves again in the third selection as he does have a downfall. But, but his is just way quicker than Nagi. So he just instantly has a downfall and then gets back because he figures out that he needs to rely on his own voice and not the monster's voice. So his dribbling techniques go to his own voice instead of what the monster tells him to do. So he is fighting for his own goal at this point, trying to steal your Isagi from um, his own team. And then it doesn't really grow that far in the third selection, we don't even see him play in the third selection, but in the U20 match, Nagi gets the trapping ability of um, letting it ball drop, but not um, Bachua gets the monster trance where it's like he just destroys everyone in his way and it's like he goes crazy. It's like he fuses the monster and his own voice together, which is a f slight foreshadowing for the NEL. Because in the NEL, he does get controlled and um, counteractive dribbling, which is like Itoshi say, where he just waits for the enemy to attack him. Meanwhile, he ha holds the ball in a similar place, making the defense um, very confused and worried about what he has to do. And this is Ginga X Monster, which is where ba Batra is right now. So now we're going to be talking about their like physical feats. So you want to talk about Nagi's strength? Okay, so Nagi's strength. Well, he went to Manshine City and 
very much in cool over there because French ice cream is all about physique. And when he was about to score his, well, was about to score his first goal, but you can have blocked it. When he was pushing out Birkenstock, he was able to show up a juggling shot after chopping a ball while moving and giving it mid air. Like he's able to relax his body in mid air, move his legs around the ball and kicking it with extreme force, performing a monstrous body shot. But yeah, but it didn't really went as it was because you can yeah, saw through it and blocked it. And not that much other than that. Um, for Bashra. The man looks like he could throw hands with Shido as he was getting ready to throw hands, but um, rules of blue lock didn't allow it. Um, he doesn't really have in terms of physical feats, but he, he does have a monster and kicking Igaguri as his physical feats. Um, the power of his shots are like really insane as there's always a monster aura and similar to Barrow's lion shot to the in the NEL where it was put in so much power. Bachua, whenever he does score, it's like an insane like aura explosion. Besides the second selection match where he scored a week ago because of Rin. So he doesn't really have much that um, strength feats either. But in my assumption, I would give this to Nagi because Nagi is Manshine and Manshine did focus on training way more than Barcha did. Barcha focused more on the meditation and dribbling side. Who do you think would win this one? I would give this to Nagi. Yeah, Nagi's just way too strong now. If it was before the NEL, I would have given it to Bachelor because Nagi is just prodigy. Um, the next thing we're going to be talking about is speed. Who is fast, faster? So take it away. Well, but Nagi's speed is well, he's impressive because he has a well, an A in it. Will no one? Well, I saw his stats and he has an A in speed, and it was shown that in the. Manshine match that he was able to quickly get on offense. So mostly some of the time before the ball was intercepted by Sagi. As in when Nagi um let's say when Rio shot the ball and it was a fake and uh, Nagi came in and did a like a trap and stopping it. He was about to score before Isagi came in and intercepted it. So can't really say much about it. But yeah, that's about it for Um, before we start, um, I go to Batra. Does Batra have a stat book? Because I don't remember his stats from the NEL. Yeah, he has an A in speed. And Nagi has an A as well. Okay, so it's close. Um, so Batra, he doesn't move fast like Zantetsu or Chigiri, but he actually has one of the highest speeds. He's like top five or top six. It is a bit above Nagi from the last time I recall. But like basically his speed is used to like progress forward with the ball like the way he will dribble is so fast like Zantetsu had a hard time keeping up someone who is very analytical like Isagi and Rayo would have hard times like Isagi would have to wait like further back like he did in the second selection to even make sure that he had a chance of stopping Batura. When he dribbles, he is probably the fastest dribbler in Blue Lock. Maybe Yukimiya could give him a run, but like Batra is the fastest dribbler of all time. And now combining it with. How did, hmm? how did Lavino do? How did Lavino do? No, other than Lavino, you said. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. I went like among the Blue Lockers. That's my fault. Cool. Yeah, but like, yeah, if he compete on Genga, speaking of him, because dancing is an art of speed as well. Because, like, when you're dancing, you do like high flashed reflex movements, and Bachelor really copies that into his Genga X monster. And it's like he leaves after images of himself when he's dribbling with the ball. So, like, Bachelor is very fast in the NEL, it's insane. So honestly, I feel like Bachiro would take this because of just how well he destroyed Bastard in terms of speed in the NEL. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll give this to Bachiro. Yeah, I just feel like Nagi didn't really showcase a lot of running, um, trapping with the, because Nagi traps it, so it's like he has to slow down the game. Unlike Bachiro, who just heats up the game. It's very opposite of the way they use their weapons. And then the next one, um, this is gonna be hard for Bachiro to win, but jumping. Who would win in a battle of jump, like aerial abilities, basically? 
Okay, so Maggie's trapping does sometimes involve him jumping out. Like when he got the pass from Rio in the first election against Team Z versus Team V, he had to jump and control the ball, then shoot and then score. This is very impressive. Also, his shot in the U20, like a jumping rebound twist when he shot the ball, which involved jumping as well. Yeah, I think this is just like this. Which is kind of crazy that he was being worked by like two U20 defenders. And yeah, that's about it for now. Um, for Batra, he doesn't really showcase jumping feats in the first selection. It's actually in the first episode of Blue Lock or the second where they have the don't get hit by the ball last. And Batra like just an insane jumping feat when he kicks Ikaguri and when he jumps in the air for no reason. And um, his next feat doesn't come until like he does that insane jumping kick to score a goal in the second selection match, the final one for. Oh, and it, yeah, his B shot. Yeah, basically it's sim it's similar to the B shot. He just um the B shot he scored it off his own role. When Win passed it to him in the second selection, it was basically that. But yeah, they're going very high in the air and Barch, I was gonna reference that after. But yeah, they are jumping very high, so like that is a very high stat. And then the last one is the monster trance where Batra just lifts the ball over the goalkeeper. Well actually that isn't really a jumping feat as it's mainly him just using a flip flick shot to get it in. But yeah, his best um jumping feat would be the chemical B shot with Otoya. Yeah. Um, who do you think would win? I, I'm actually having a hard time with this one. I'm sure that Nagi had did more jumping with these traps, which make it more easier. It makes him pluck it in the out of the air. Yeah, in episode Nagi, he does way more jumping feats, especially the one against um, Nico and Zantet. So he jumped off of both of their backs and did a bicycle kick. So yeah, that one I'm gonna have to give it to Nagi. Yeah. yeah, that was his first goal in Blue Lock too. And anyway, next is Endurance. And this one's gonna be good. So you take it away. Okay, well, Nagi's Endurance well, is really good here. He ran about a good, well, he did play the entirety of the U20 match, which consists of 90 minutes, which is also like an hour. Yeah. Which has to have an hour. And both oh, did play in the U20 match, Bachara and Nagi, so it's kind of equal in both. Um, for Bachara, I would say that he had to put more effort as he did have more of a dis defensive responsibility and he also did try to attack very much in the game too. So he was um, as progressive on defense as he was in attacking and I felt like Nagi only had one defensive panel which was the one where he and Barrow saves the team from Sendo when Sendo was about to score. Um, so maybe I think Batra would win this because Batra also uses way more energy before the NEL because in FC Barcher he's way more composed and doesn't use as much energy. But in the games prior, like he was using way more energy and you know Nagi doesn't really have that ego to go all out every single play. It's like um whenever he feels like it, that's when he will actually try. So I feel like Batcher would put more effort into the whole game and for him to consistently do that, I feel like Batcher would take this one. What about you? Yeah. Um. The next one is dribbling. Like that's not even a competition. I would give this one to um Batra easily. Like I've stated all his dribbling moves in the past. That from NEL all, all the way back to the first game. So um, Batra would win dribbling. Now this one is um can be shaky depending on what era of blue lock you use. Let's talk about ego. Well, Nagi's ego is very strong. I see. Okay, hold up. I got it. So Nagi's ego as well. Nagi, well, at the first time starting with blue lock, he didn't really have an ego. He just like. 
Every time he got it heated, it would be for a specific reason. In as much as, as in like when he, uh, well, okay, let's say this now. When Barrow was like pulling him or something, or like pushing on the machine dog, you were like walking off the bar, like, like square up with him and fight. Like, and after that, he just went crazy. And Nagi is not, not afraid to discard anyone, such as he did against Rayo. And kind of like when he did against his argument like to Agi and Chris instead. Yeah. But I think his ego is a bit too codependent, which is kind of holding him back. Um, for Batra, he, um, he did ha- have a problem. I don't know if it's entirely fixed. We may get back to it soon, but it's like Batra relies on Isagi too much, but he is not afraid to like play without Isagi and like be his own person. And he has the creativity that Nagi doesn't, which also gives him like self purpose because Nagi doesn't thrive on playing alone, but like. Nagi's creativity is underrated, but that's for a different day to explain. I feel like Batra also had a downfall when it was against Team Isagi in the 4v4. Like, he basically relied on Isagi and Ren to like keep him motivated and the monster as well. But like now in the NEL, he's gaining a bigger ego. But I don't know if it's all his problems were fully resolved because of how fast it was done but as of right now i would have to give it to bachua because nagi is the one having a downfall like i said different eras because in the second and first selection i would have given it to nagi as nagi was in a better place than bachua but right now bachua is in a better place than nagi all right now hmm What's up next? It's like the 1v1s, the team play, and then the. Hey, hold up. Give me a sec, bro. You're gonna have to like. Give me a sec. Alright, let me pause you real quick. Okay, we're here. So, could Nagi beat Bachu on a 1v1? State your case. Nope. Hell no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, Nagi could probably score goals against Batura, but, like, if Batura, like, plays smart, because I feel like he got way more mature in the NEL, he would figure out a way eventually on how to stop Nagi. But I can't say the same about Nagi stopping Batura, because Batura is an offensive beast. Like, Nagi's not going to predict all these new dribble moves. And we haven't seen them play in the NEL yet, so I don't know how he would fare against Ginga X Monster if Kunigami or Freak Beast can't. This is their last game. It is their last game. Oh yeah, before uh, we go into team play, actually let's go into team play and then talk about it. Who do you think will be a more of an impact in team play? Nagi or Batra? State your case for Nagi. Okay, so Nagi. Well, his main weapon, weapon is his chopping. Just based off a lot. I would see him playing as an offensive midfielder. Like, in whatever the ball is, he just chops it perfectly and passes it on striker. But as a striker, as of now, he doesn't have any numbers to show it, so. He would make a good impact on the team with a Um, For Batra, he could make an impact in two different positions, being striker or a left wing, because um, when Lavino subs on, he t- tells the boys to like get out of his way. He's the striker. But um, Batra, he's been carrying a team of nobodies to like carry um to even score goals against PXG. Ubers and um, what's the first team? Bastard Ninja. But I don't think he scored against um, PXG as his rating was very low. The rankings were very bad, so I don't know what they were doing in um, that chapter. But like, yeah, I feel like Batra does a very good job. He did score in that match. He scored against PXG. Yeah, he started from 66 minutes to 70. Yeah, I thought he didn't score because the rating was so low. I thought Lavino scored both. First. Um. Anyway, like, um, who do you think wins in a like team play? Who would do better for their team, like, to enhance the team? Okay, so I'm gonna be like going back in the past. So, 
Tamari Nagi, no, he wouldn't make any impact. But the old Nagi, like second selection Nagi, would make a serious impact in the game. But because we're not doing all that science to talk about the past and the future, so I'm giving this one to Bachira. Yeah, I'd have to give it to Bachira as well. Like, unless Nagi has that awakening in the final game, which I hope he does, he isn't winning because Nagi carried Isagi of all people to be Baro and Naruhaya. Like, he was telling him to just pass it anywhere and I'm gonna just carry the whole squad. So, like, Bachira wouldn't be able to do that. So, but now, like, Bachira, I feel like Bachira would play the whole game in this final game, and Nagi won't play the whole game because of how bad he's been. So, I feel like Bachira is actually a good morale system for the team, while Nagi is like a bad morale. So, yeah, Bachira wins this easily. And then the final section is um, who would you pick as a coach? Uh, Bachira. You're not gonna give Nagi a chance? Because Nagi has no creativity. He wouldn't know what to do with a team. Yeah. Okay, like, yeah, I would choose Batra, but like, Nagi... I don't know what Chris Prince sees in him, like... People say he has no creativity, but he has points where he, ha he does have his creativity. I feel like when his ego is dead, that's when his creativity goes to hell, like... Uh, you said something about him creating the shot against Barrow, right? Like his new technique. Well, like bringing life, life into the ball. Yeah, like on the second selection, that was on his own. He could literally make the whole team better with that thing. Like Nagi's not as bad as we say when it comes to creativity. It's the amount of effort he puts. That's the problem with him. I, I think he's a very creative. Hmm. Okay, in the moment when it calls for it, his brain actually works for a minute. Yeah, for, I think that's perfect. For just a minute, his brain cells start to work. And then it's like, after the moment, it's done. Just like how he scored against Isagi, and then he just died. Oh yeah, I can't give this one to Nagi, so it has to be Bachira. Yeah, it's gonna be the Bachira. I just didn't want to diss my boy Nagi. I've I've done like two videos dissing him. I can't let it end like that for him. So um, Bachira wins this one very comfortably right now. Maybe in the future, this video would be like highly intense. But for now, Bachira wins this. Thank you, Leo King, for joining. Say goodbye to the chat. Yeah. Peace y'all, and wait, hold up, over here. I want to see if y'all want a video on Charles and explain and try to predict his abilities. You're going to carry that video, but Like, what do you guys want to do? That's yes or no? Yeah, like, we'll do a poll. Honestly, I think we should. I, I don't think anyone's going to say no to that. It's Charles. Charles is the hardest thing in the market right now. Confirm that he's 15 years old, just like Nico. I know he's no Nico's 16, is he not? As of now, yeah, in January, because his birthday is this month. Okay, I thought he was 16 now because um, Noah and Isagi's birthdays are actually in the timeline, like before the PX after the PXG game, they'll both be like an, a year older now. So, yeah, so yeah. Pretty young pretty young yeah i think that should be our next collab video so yeah that's if i don't have classes because my classes start tomorrow my classes start on wednesday that's why i wanted to really get this one done today i'll be seeing you then see you soon man peace